Well, today's Thursday, it's the 3rd of November, and uh, we've left uh, the Calamior area. We've moved inland a little bit to Saint Laurent. There's uh, Dasa. At least that's what the sign above says. And they've got a little market on here in the church, so we're just going to have a, a nice little look around. Nita's already found a jewellery store. Not expecting a really big market here today, just. Uh, it's like the sort of basics that you want in a small village or town. If it's got a town hall, it must be a town. Mm, there's a nice smell of incense around. They're selling the essentials, so fruit and vegetables. The almonds are uh, being freshly broken in a very old fashioned way. <laughs> using a hammer and uh, cheeses oh, I do love my cheeses and uh, here we've got some cow's cheese and goat's cheese different sweets almonds and coffees, coffees from the Balearic Islands. Not sure I've actually tried that. Maybe that's something I ought to try. A local coffee. I'm sure I'm just going to enjoy the jewellery here. And there's a few cafes already open, people having coffees already, it's just coming up to, well, before half past eleven. Parking was a prob no, it was not a problem, <laughs> uh, we just uh, saw a sign for parking. No problem at all, getting in, plenty of spaces in the car park. Sounds like some of these alarms going off. And uh, Anita's already admiring the flowers as we come up fast all, but there's a lot of point buying any of those to take home. It's a very pretty display. Even I can appreciate that. As we make our way up the hill, a few more stalls up in front, and the, the church, which according to the website I was looking at should be open today, so we'll have a, a look around if that's possible. Clock up there says 25 past 11. Somebody must have gone up there and changed it last weekend. Little square here. Walk around the square. Fresh fish, they will come from the markets in Palma, or maybe from this side of the island right there, caught yesterday. And a lovely fruit and vegetable stall here. Mm 
Yeah, they tend to make use of the the limited space, so they they go down the side streets. It's a nice little market, really. Gives you the the feel of the the village life. Here's the chickens being roasted there. 10 euros for a cooked chicken. And a few more clothes stores. Bet they've got nothing in my size. It's all ladies anyway. See where Anita's headed off. Mm, straight down again to the flower stalls. All the chilies there. The sobrasada. And the cheeses. And the different chili thos. All looks really nice. And a beautiful display. I think we might have seen this gentleman actually with his flowers at various other markets. We're going to have a look at the church now. Well, we just had a nice little walk around the market here in San, San Lorenzo de Cadassa. I can't pronounce these names. Anyway, we've uh, got a nice walk around the market and we've been into the church and uh, another very interesting church. And uh, we're going to settle down now for a little coffee and then uh, off on our travels. So, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Cheers and bye for now. So as we were just walking on our way back to the car, we came a slightly different way and uh, we've noticed this sculpture. It's actually called Help, Help in English. And it was commissioned by uh, the local area in memory of the torrent that they had in the other San Lorenzo, San Lorenzo, uh, where there was lots of people who were lost a lot of uh, things including many losing their lives and so this was from 2020 and it's by Amparo Saad Flooding was actually in October of 2018.